Prayer Issues, Thoughts on Prayer 10. Now, um, when I pray for 29 Marymount's Prison and its associated paraphernalia, paraphernalia, all my belongings, using Psalm 29 over and over again, I'm sort of referring God to the address and its contents regularly. And really things need to be examined and looked at and sort of, I know all the product, which I've owned anyway, and most of the books and things which mum's got hanging around the house. So I'm I'm aware, aware of all and handled quite a lot of it. Uh, most of mum's books I've had a bit of a look at at times. Well, a lot of them anyway. But um, all my stuff I've handled and I know it all. And I've uh, talked of God about a, a fair bit of it over the years in prayer and discussion. And um, it has to be referenced in prayer and specified. Unless you reference and specify what you're specifically praying about, it's not terribly valid very much. Now, I've got a lot of the Psalm 29 prayers being prayed. It might, have, might be up to... There's several hundred times it's been prayed now, I know that much. Might even be up to a thousand, I'm not sure, or maybe even beyond that, I'm not sure. But it's starting to get it to the point with a reasonable amount of prayer, but that, that's a decent enough effort, you know what I mean? For, for a standard address and its contents, a thousand odd prayers, well, that's a fairly big effort and fairly uh, consistent and committed effort. And it, I suppose it warrants God's sort of investigation into looking at the contents and sort of making a, a list potentially, because enough times we've been prayed on it. You know, I've spent probably several hours now praying the prayer all up. Maybe several hours, I'm not sure, but uh, a fair bit of time has been prayed on the prayer now, amongst other prayers like that. So, so when it comes to the idea of salvation and praying. 700 prayers for the resurrection of the dead, you know, it's not specific, you see, you haven't specified a soul, you have to, I, I think you, you have to specify souls, and for things you're praying for, you have to get specific, and that thing needs its attention, you can't just pray 700 prayers and God, expect God to raise mankind, because you've got enough prayer for mankind, not really, if that soul is like, eh, it's, well, it's human, just a soul, a soul in the, the pack out of a billion people raised from dead, just another soul in the pack. Well, it, it was never even talked about that particular soul, you know, and only the tiniest amount from my prayers anyway would have been mentioned. So, you know, I mean, I think it's a, a far-flung fant fantastic dream to think that, that, that 700 prayers for the resurrection of the dead is going to do the job. You know, everything... To, to be raised from the dead would have to be prayed over and it's individually that we're going to need 700 prayers or a decent enough amount and it's several hundred and, you know you need a decent enough amount for that soul to count and it's the same for things in general with the things you're praying for they need a decent enough amount for it to really count well enough so this is some of the doctrine which was sold to me by God, I suppose, on, you know, a soul really needs 700 biblical prayers to be short of salvation well enough from a dedicated, repented biblical soul uh, before God's really going to commit to doing the work and saving that soul well enough. And I don't think you can get away with, God, save them! I don't think that's going to do the job, you know.